In this video, we will learn how to compute a standard normal values in the more advanced uh, type of questions. Let z be a standard normal random variable. Use the calculator provided or this table to determine the value of c such that probability of 1.11, which is less than or equal to z, which is less than or equal to c, that is equal to 0 0.1196. Carry your intermediate computations to at least four decimal places. Round your answer to two decimal places. Now, I have shown you how to use a calculator on Alex before and how to use ATI-84 before, so I'm not going to demonstrate any of that. In fact, I'm going to do most of the work from now on using TI-84. If you would like to use a um, Alex uh, calculator, or if you have Alex calculator available at all in this course, then you can uh, make your adjustments to use that tool. Our um, first uh, assignment is to get a diagram to visualize what is going on. I am trying to find some unknown value of a z-score, we call it c, so that the area between 1.11 and c happens to be 11.96 ten thousandths. I always recommend to get a visual before you try um, solving the problem. So my visual is presented here. So I have a standard normal curve and my horizontal axis where I'm going to label my z-scores. The normal curve is centered at zero and I have two z-scores to consider. The area of uh, 0 0.1196 is between 1.11 and unknown z-score of c. So this time we have to be a little more creative to find uh, what is the z-score um, that satisfies these conditions. I recommend to start by using what I do know. I know at least one z-score. I have a z-score of 1.11, and that can help me to find area to the left of that z-score, the area that I shaded in light green. To find it, I'm going to use a normal CDF function and I'm looking for area um, of a z-score that is less than or equal to 1.11. Well, normal CDF, my interval is from negative infinity all the way up to 1.11, here it is, with mu of 0 and 1 as my standard deviation, and that results in 0 0.8665. So I found this shaded area in green to be 0 0.8665. 0 0.8665. Now I continue. All right, what do I know now? Now I can add this area of 0 0.8665 with the area in this region uh, that is uh, labeled in uh, yellow of um, 0 0.1196. So I'm combining that and I know the total is 0 0.9861. So just adding these two numbers. This would be the area um, to the left of this unknown C value. To find this C value, whose combined area to the left happens to be 0 0.9861, all I need to do is apply inverse norm of this area with 0 and 1 as my mu and standard deviation. Make sure to indicate its area to the left or don't indicate anything if you use older TI-84. Um, it does the left uh, tail automatically and that gives you 2.20 when rounded to two decimal places. Here is one more similar example. Let z be a standard normal random variable. Use the calculator provided or this table to determine the value of c such that probability of c, which is less than or equal to z, which is less than or equal to 0 0.88, equals to 0 0.7867. I would like to get a diagram first. My uh, standard normal curve is here again. I have the horizontal axis where I can label my z-scores. I am centering my curve at zero, that's my mu. And I know that um, I'm working with the area that is between some unknown value of c and 0 0.88. So I find where 0 0.88 is, I kind of guesstimate where C would be so that the amount of area between them is about 0 0.7867, so just do your best visual estimate of how big that interval will be. And I'm trying to find this location right here. I want to know what this C is. To do that, 
I would love to know either what is the area to the left of this C or what is the combined area to the right of this C. To find that answer, first of all, I would be very interested in finding the area that used to be here white, but now I shaded it in green saying I'm interested in this amount of area. To compute this quantity, I'm going to use um, a normal CDF and I'm going to um, enter the interval from 0 0.88 to positive infinity. So here it is, 0 0.88 to positive infinity uh, with mu of 0 and sigma of 1. And that function produces 0 0.1894 as the amount of area in this tail to the right of 0 0.88. Now I can combine the green shaded area with yellow shaded area here it is, it gives me 0 0.9761, and that represents the amount of area that is to the right of this value C I am interested in. Now to find C, I use inverse norm with this combined area to the right of C, and it gives me negative 1.98, which is very logical because I ended up having C to the left of zero. That makes sense. Another way to do this is to say, um, what if I find uh, inverse norm of the same area but to the left? In other words, what if I have an older calculator? How do I do this? It doesn't do the right tail, it only does the left tail. Well, you're welcome to do this. Just remember that you are going to find the symmetric version of the C value that is positive. It will be the mirror image of this point on this side with uh, 0 0.9761, 0 0.9761 to the left. Well, just make sure you take opposite of that quantity and that will give you negative 1.98 as well.